Finally here getting out of the theater for Cabrini. Let me just say this off the bat. Everyone should see this film. Every American, every woman, every man, every children of immigrants, fathers, daughters, sons of immigrants, absolute uh, knockout of a drama and cinematically a beautiful, almost godfather s level look and feel film I mean, it's a period piece so uh 1890s new york uh i, I knew very little about mother cabrini and that she's the patron saint of all immigrants and i feel somewhat uh <laughs> a little bit ashamed of that but shame is gone this film Okay, my biggest reaction, two big things, and then yes, we will do a more in-depth review and analysis, but as far as reaction, the lead actress was a powerhouse. She's an absolute powerhouse. What an incredible performance. The director, Alejandro Monteverde, was not afraid to leave the camera on her for long periods of time. And then he was not afraid to be ambitious with his camera work and go from the, from the landscape of her face out into the horizon of the ocean, seeing Ellis Island and Statue of Liberty for the first time. I mean, it was sweeping. It was, it, it, it was epic. And her as the character, the character, she was relentless. I don't know how much has been embellished from the truth. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to tell you what I saw and react. So that's the big thing in regards to um, my first reaction was the powerhouse performance of this woman. The, um, the last thing and uh, I just want to make sure again, I'll let you guys know we will do an in-depth review of this, but the last big impression, which I was really caught off guard because it's a great drama, it's entertaining, it's got its humor where it's needed, it's got its beauty, it's got its film work, it's got it incredible music, incredible actors, David Morse as the uh, New York Archdiocese, Giancarlo uh, uh, Gian Giannini, Giancarlo Giannini, plays the Pope and John Lithgow as the New York mayor. Killer, killer cast. I did not expect this to be such a, an indictment on being anti-immigrant, being anything but unkind to people. And it makes sense that I'm reminded by this story of the patron saint of all immigrants because we're all, all children, fathers, sons, and daughters of immigrants. Uh, and what this woman was able to do, it, 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 I was like, again, I was telling you, I was really surprised by this, you know, listen, you know, immigrants, we built this place. And, you know, we have to be reminded, and he says this at the end, what kind of world do we want to live in? So with all that political garbage going on that gets us so divide, divided and, and full of hate, remember, you know, remember human beings, man. That's just it. That's what this film reminds me of. The incredible power and the incredible good that human beings can do. Yes, there's horrors, but there's majority of the time there's beauty and that's another thing that i really loved and i will finish with this was i had said like it's a it's a godfather s coppola level type of cinematography type of good you know just really cool godfather 2 feel in that um in that uh that era but the thing is is that you saw italian and italian americans uh historical from nuns to, 
to men and women helping out uh, their mission in a wonderful light. And unlike the, the gangsters and the mafia people that we just, you know, uh, adore, or, you know, just, you know, just, oh man, we just put them on, on high pedestals. This woman was the first caped crusader, if you will, of the unfortunate in New York. I mean, just stunning. I just wanted to say that those are my big three things. There's so much more. Alejandro Monteverde, the director of Sound of Freedom, you, you made a masterpiece, brother. And uh, I, I, I'm so excited for, for this. I, I really want everyone to see, see this film. Again, the three main takeaways. The incredible performance by the lead, playing Francesca Cabrini. The, um, what was my other one? Was it the two things? Oh, God. Uh, I'm losing it. The, uh, the strong uh, pro-immigrant uh, sentiment. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's really it. And of course, the great, the great direction. And you know, yes, there is God in this film. Yes, it's, it's based on a true to life, you know, uh, a Catholic, Catholic nun. But this is a very mainstream approach for all people to love and enjoy. Okay, those are my uh, initial thoughts and feelings. This is an incredible film. It's a great drama and uh, boy, it, what a visual treat as well. You know, Alejandro really knows how to uh, fill up that space of the, of the screen and uh, it's beautiful to see on a big screen. The movie's called Cabrini. It's out now. Yes, you can pay it for it. It tells you to pay for it at the end uh, and there will be more. With more, we'll do a spoiler. We'll do a spoiler. We'll really get get into to the, you know, we'll we'll work on some stuff here. Maybe we'll we'll have a surprise for you guys. All right, let me know if you guys have seen the film. If you're gonna see the film, comment now. And thank you so much. Wherever you're at, keep your slam for it there. Gracias.